uh, at Acton Cub Training's hangar. Um, we now have four place cub that uh, Sean McLaughlin at Airframes and Kirk Ellis built together. And we're teaching the guy uh, that purchased the airplane from Sean, kind of give him some tailwheel instruction and stuff. Okay, um, anyway, he uh, asked about a new propeller. And just today we got a new Sensenich ground adjustable propeller that we put on this thing. I hooked it up to the pull test and then we pulled, um, I think it was 750 pounds. Um, we pulled, it's a 63 degree day. Um, I'm not sure what the, the pressure is out here, but um, pulled 750 pounds, which is, is pretty good. Uh, the only thing I didn't do is I didn't pull the whirlwind, so I don't have a, a base line yet. Uh, we'll work on that later. But people that are interested in the Sensionich ground adjustable propeller, if you want to go on a long, a long flight, they give you, um, I think, three pins. And the pins are numbered four. This one's a four and a five. And if you look in the book, um, four and a five is approximately a 43 and a 45 pitch. Um, and, and that's the blade angle. And they also give you a, um, a uh, uh, jig that you hang on the tip and you can check the blade angle with a digital protractor. But the simple way is just to loosen your six bolts, then your blades will rotate, and then you stick your pin in, okay? And then you rotate the blade until it touches the side of your shank. And then you do the other side until it touches the side of your shank. And then you torque your bolts down. And so the diameter of the shank, and if you see in there, you can see a pin. Look right in that hole and you see a pin. That's the pin that hits the shank that sets your blade angle. So. Um, it's pretty simple, loosen six bolts, stick your, you know, you got to take on your hunting trip, got to take your cruise pitch one, your climb pitch one, and you don't have to take your manual, that's just for reference, and you got to know your torques on your two sizes of bolts, and uh, that's all you got to do, so it's um, maybe a 10 minute job to loosen it change the pitch, torque it back, and away you go. So anyway, this is a um, nice cob that Kirk Ellis built in Birchwood, and um, we're having fun flying it. All right, so when would you do, when would you repitch your prop, and what, what, what situations? Uh, if you want to fly uh, to the Brooks Range, and you got all day flying, you want to go 10 miles an hour faster, or if you want to go to lower 48, not two days of flying, want to go faster, you'd, before you took off you'd pitch it and then when you get to Alaska and you want to go play on the Susitna River or the Kinnick or the Brooks Range, then you'd put it in a fine pitch for takeoff. I haven't played with the pitches. The people at Sensionist told me they tested it against a club 8242 and they had this blade in the 44 pitch when they tested it against a club. And so that's why I picked the number four, is because that's as closest to a 44 pitch that they said they did their flight testing with. Eighty-two, it is. So, yep, prop length same as an eighty-two. So same as the club that you put on those three sixty. And you tested it out. What kind of RPM are you getting in? Twenty at at the number four pitch I was getting 2450 static so as soon as you roll down the runway it'll go right up to 26 um, I expect we haven't test flown it yet that's coming uh, John Birchfield our instructors gonna test flight tomorrow so no nope, we'll know more information tomorrow we'll get back to you
<laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. It's gorgeous. It's just, it's, in fact, hey, Rob. My, hey. You guys have a nice guess. flight? We had a great flight. All right. <laughs> uh, couldn't beat the day, eh? Oh, no. I think All we right. saw a little bit of everything. Nice machine. Yeah. Yeah. Looks Place nice coming down the taxiway. <laughs> Very pretty. Oh, yeah.